What's going on guys, it's Hellfire with MachineMasters.com and today I got a quick machine tutorial for you guys that I want to go over. Now this one comes because um, when I was really heavy into using machine um, and I used to talk to people about you know how to use it and you know things they like about it and things they don't like about it. A lot of people said one thing that they didn't like about it was that you can't unlink your slices when you when you chop a sample up or you can't overlap your slices and you know to me that was always crazy because I'm like you know you that's completely untrue you can totally you know have your slices overlap any way you want and so I, it dawned on me that a lot of people just don't know how to do it or know that it can be done so I just want to show you guys real quick how to do it or at least how I do it I got a sample loaded up here and this is a sample from the Booney Tunes collection that's available on machinemasters.com so check it out <laughs> So that's the sample. So the first thing I'm going to do, which I always do, is set my polyphony to one. So when I trigger the sample, it's not going to be overlapping or over top of itself. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into the sampler. And I'm going to go to slice. I'm going to leave it on split mode. I'm just going to put it on 16 slices. So here's my, my chops. <laughs> Okay, so you can see right now, you know, when I zoom in, like if I I hit this uh, pad right here and I go into edit, and let's say I move the start point of that, you're going to see it's going to move the end point of the one in front of it. All right? And if I move the end point of this one, now the two overlap. But if I hit this one again, and I move it to that one. Now you can see they, they link back up again. So they're not totally unlinked. Basically, to get, to get the slices completely unlinked is very, very simple. All you have to do is once you set your slices the way you want, um, you just get back out of edit mode and you just go to apply. So now I got all my slices. All right, that's all my slices. So... All I have to do now to get the the end the start and the end points to overlap is go back into the sampler and in this screen just go into edit and you'll see now that the start and end points are completely unlinked so if I take this one and I go back over that one this one remains um, un unaffected the same with this. I can take this and put it all the way like that. And it doesn't affect either of the adjacent slices. All right, so you don't even have to reapply it. You know, if you go back out of here, it's exactly the way you just edited it. So that's basically it. Uh, hopefully this tutorial helps somebody out. Um, make sure you head over to MachineMasters.com and check out the Booney Tunes. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.